I would have to say either Scotland or Ryan. They both hit their peaks at different times. Scotland was very good <clears throat> early in the season, and Ryan was very good late in the season. Um, so I'd have to put it between those two. You know, the whole league is very balanced. And very even, I think, and that's why it's been such a good league the last couple of years. Very competitive. I think we're going to have a very competitive game on Sunday. Besides Lawrence Phillips, who played for me, and I didn't really get to play against, um, Damian Craig um, was just as a defensive lineman. When you're rushing the quarterback who, who has an ability to run and throw like that and throw on the run, it, it's very hard, and you have nightmares about guys like that. And uh, so I'd say Damian. He had a great season too, and you know he definitely lived up to all the hype. From the fire squad, I would have to say uh, Kenny Bynum. You know, the, the last game that they played us, he was unreal. He ran all over us, and uh, just watching him in, in the, the following week's game, and you know, he broke. I think he got close to a thousand yards. He was like forty yards short, and, and he had a great season over here this year. And he was really a good complement to Derek Clark, who was more of a power back, and then Kenny was more of a slash and dash kind of guy. And, and uh, I think he's going to do a good job in the NFL. Yeah, it was a it was a completely different team. You know, they made some some uh, personnel switches at quarterback and stuff like that, and they really got it together in the second half of the season. They they laced into us pretty good there the the second time and the first time. You know, we were we were rolling pretty good at the beginning of the season, and uh, and we took it to them all right. Not as bad as they beat us the second time, but uh, but they were a very good football team this year and playing probably the best football out of anybody at the end of the season. I have to say that the biggest thing that I've noticed over here is the the people. Even though you can't, I, mean, I don't speak any other language at all except English, and I have problems with that sometimes. So. But you know, everybody's very friendly and very, you know, accommodating and, and is willing to help you as long as you just keep smiling and don't start raising your voice or anything like that. I've, I've really had a good time in Europe and and, and everywhere: Spain, Germany, Scotland. I've really enjoyed it over here. It's a little town called Sitges. It's a little resort town about 30 miles south of Barcelona. It's very nice. Oh, yeah, we lived right on the beach in Spain, and uh, we definitely took advantage of that. It was very nice. In Europe last year, over here, I played. Uh, we were playing against Frankfurt uh, the first time away. We were at Frankfurt, and uh, I picked up a fumble and scored on a, about a 35-yard touchdown to win the game, and uh, that was pretty exciting for me. I'm... Now, this year, I'd have to say I had two sacks against Frankfurt last week, and I had two sacks against Scotland a couple weeks before that. Those are good memories. I'm just looking to make a whole bunch of memories on Sunday because, you know, it's the World Bowl, and I'm pretty fired up about that. I don't like watching it as much as I like playing it. I still enjoy playing soccer. I, I kind of outgrew it. I'm a little heavy and big now to go running around kicking the ball, but uh, I do like it. I think it's a great sport, and uh, over here they love it. And I, that's what I like. I like the atmosphere to a European soccer game, you know. We were in Barcelona when uh, uh, Bayern München, I think, and uh, Manchester United came down and played, and all the fans were down there, and it was, it was great. It's really neat to see those kind of followings, you know, all the fan support that those guys get.